We won. We kicked their asses out of prime time and relegated them to the back pages after the sports section. We kicked his ass. He died 100,000 times over. We didn't hurt anyone else. We know the rest of those subhumans are innocent. It's a brand new feeling, this new and improved packaging for the classic taste of Stars and Stripes. Sweet as the endless bumper sticker pep rally. Robust as the first fist raised against the Stop the War heathens. Wholesome as a G-rated broadcast that blitzed this great nation while mass graves were bulldozed in. Yes, this was definitely a family war. One where parents could safely let youngsters watch cartoons without fear of interruption. One where bubblegum cards and t-shirts proclaiming the complete assimilation of violence as a product racked up record sales. For our teenagers, there was rock music and MTV to keep them updated. News clips manipulated and doctored like a bad research paper. Recruiting agents and rebels clothing encouraged us from the stage to pray for the safe return of thousands of murderers and their accomplices and accessories. Adults could finally wash away $5 an hour depression. Midlife crisis became a golf crisis. Something to listen to on the radio, sitting in rush hour traffic. Something to put a lump in your throat thinking of our boys. The size of a piece of shrapnel in someone else's throat, tens of thousands of miles away. Something to make you buy one more round for the guys when you saw the final lie of a score come across the screen above the bar. Don't worry, your family doesn't wonder where you are. They're caught up in their own self-congratulation with jaundice colored decorations down at Town Hall. Over at the VFW, Elks and American Legion, they compare this one to the big one and the two smaller good fights. The ones they didn't feel quite comfortable mentioning until the final field goal of this one. Now, here's one to right the wrongs of past games by making them worse. They're proud of nephews, grandchildren, sons and daughters that accepted tradition and went when it was their turn of free will, sound bodies, distorted, hating hearts and minds. There may be a few less bodies at the family reunion picnic this summer, but they're just around the corner by the gas station with a low, low price for unleaded. Our modern day crusade against the savages, the yellow rags and colorful cutout construction paper, spelling out support for the death squad drones over half a million strong in the windows of PS38 and suburban regional high school, adorning the columns of free thought and free speech in front of the disinformation factories, fed by big yellow monsters, fueled by the stuff wars are made of. Our modern day crusade against the savages, best explained by chalk scribblings on a bomb of peace, reading, if your God won't take you, next time try Jesus. The land of the free has kicked their asses into the Stone Age. We are bigger, stronger, richer, cleaner, whiter. We have better airplanes and bigger dicks and prettier women. And we're also very, very proud of our brave men and women. They just went over there and did it. Rock and roll, man. And now it's Miller time. Now we are going to have the biggest party ever. The parade to end all parades. There's going to be hamburgers of unidentified origins, beer, tits, fireworks, and some serious killer jams. Roll up your war and smoke it. Feel the high of being number one. Suck down the smooth menthol flavor of a hundred thousand sacks of human garbage. Taste the cool, refreshing flavor of severed arms and disemboweled children. Then get some rest. You deserve it. God bless America. God bless us each and every one.